What's up, people of the internet? Uh, you guys asked me to make a video about the new Aflo vest that I got. So, here I am making a video about the new Aflo vest I got. Alright, so, here is the carrying case for this bad man pajama. You can see, I mean, it's pretty, pretty big. Uh, it's, a, it's like the size of like a really huge delivery thing that the pizza guys use. It's not gigantic, and uh, the weight, it's not, not bad at all. You know, you can sling it around. It's not like the Hill Rom version. <clears throat> well, the old school Hill Rom version that weighed like 86 pounds. And it's even lighter than the newest Hill Rom version. Uh, I don't know about the Smart Vest or any of those other units before people ask because I've always just used Hill Rom. Alright, carrying case. And so here's the actual thing. Comes with, I've obviously repacked all this. Instruction book. Thankfully mine doesn't have that yellow trim so it doesn't look like a giant child's life jacket. Comes with the brick which you use to plug directly into the wall if you don't have a place to charge. Here is like the cigarette outlet car charger piece. <clears throat> uh, I'm not entirely for sure. I know you can charge the vest using this in a cigarette outlet in a car. I'm not sure what the voltage of that is called, so that's why I'm calling it a cigarette outlet. <clears throat> but I'm not sure if you can plug it in and also use the vest while this is plugged in, but I would imagine that you can. So yeah, there's that. And here is the actual unit. Along with the other uh, electronics that came with it, here is the rechargeable battery. What you do is you plug this piece, just plug into the wall, plug it into this battery and it takes about three to four hours for the vest to fully get a good charge there's a little button right here you can press it that will show you the power on the Aflo vest unit uh, according to the Aflo vest rep that I talked to you can get a good uh, two or three days out of a charge on this but it also depends on your therapy time and what setting that you do the Aflo vest on uh, to show you where the battery and everything goes, I'm going to go ahead and put the vest on because it's way easier for me to show you than having to pick this thing up and maneuver it around. So, I'm not sure the exact weight of the Aflo vest. It has a good bit of weight to it, but it's not that bad. Uh, you have your usual buckles, like your usual vest. Uh, let's see if I make sure not to screw these up. It's here, and this one. Put it in here all right so there's a little pouch that flops down right here as you can see there's nothing in the pouch and there's a cable that comes out of the Aflo vest you take your portable battery plug it in put the battery in the pouch bring this little thing up clip it into place and boom <clears throat> you're ready to rock and roll the next part is the actual switch that controls the Aflo vest. That is upside down, I apologize. Okay, so the actual switch that controls the Aflo vest. You have drainage, vibration, and percussion. And you have your intensity levels of soft, medium, and intense. We're going to start out with the usual uh, vibration. Uh, the vibration is like a normal vest would be, just a constant vibration. So, the vest is on right now, I don't, and this is on low. All right, going to crank it up to medium. If you can't tell already, this vest is super quiet compared to the Hillrom vest. You may be able to hear that I have the robot voice going on, so... <clears throat> you really the only way you can tell that it's on <clears throat> here we go and the next intensity level is intense and this is as high as it goes as you can see I'm cl completely mobile I can walk around do what I want uh, it's really it's not that heavy a lot of people said the unit is super heavy uh, it's not I mean you know you can you can jump up and down while you do it it's uh, it's whatever. I'm actually getting, I'm debating on going on a couple jogs with it, climbing a few mountains with it. Let's you know, let's get crazy with this thing. The next setting we're gonna do is percussion. 
It's supposed to mimic more hand PT. It's kind of like bursts of uh, percussion. So I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up the phone and see if you can hear it, so you can kind of know what I'm talking about. I'm just gonna go ahead and crank it up to intense. So. As you can see, every time these light up, you're getting a burst. For the next uh, level, it's going to be drainage. And what drainage does is there are multiple points in this vest that target every lobe in your lungs. So if you've ever sat in like a massage chair or anything like that, you'll notice there's the little points in the chair that climbs up your spine to massage you. That is what is in the Aflo vest. <clears throat> so if you hit drainage, it starts at the bottom and then it starts climbing. Every time one of these lights go up, it's hitting a different spot. This is kind of mid, it's getting to the upper. Now we're in the upper lobes. Now you're in the very top. And then it just keeps repeating that. We're gonna, I'm gonna put, go ahead and bump it up to intense. And it has them in the front and the back. So you're getting it from, from both ends. Ah, that's what she said. As far as how well it actually works, uh, I absolutely love it. I'm going to switch it back over to regular vibration, like a normal vest, to where it's just constant. And also, whenever you're done, hold on, I'm going to set this back down. If I can get it to stay. <clears throat> whenever you're done, like if you, when you have your vest set to the setting that you want, you'll just stick it back in the pouch. Clip this little flap right here to keep it in. Bring it up clip the buckle and then boom you're good so this is the aflo vest as you can see like i said earlier completely portable nothing's holding me back from doing anything i want uh as far as how well how well it works uh i think it in the little time that i've had it i've only had it a day so far and but i've switched it back and forth did the hill rom and then immediately did this <coughs> The hill rom never makes me cough. I'm not making myself cough. This is making me cough. Because these vibrations, they're going to whereas if you put on the hill rom vest and you put it on a high intensity, it shakes around you. Even if you do Minnesota protocol, it's just it's the it's just one giant vest that inflates with air and just shakes around you. Whereas this has individual points that are going to target all of your lobes. They have them along the back, like I said as well. So, these vibrations are sh being shot directly into your into the walls of your chest like I can actually feel like it going directly in especially when you switch over to uh, percussion or the drainage then you can really really feel it so for me I know the studies say that the aflo vest doesn't work near as well as the hill rom vest you know for me it's more of a different strokes for different folks kind of thing because it's the same way as Oh, one treatment will work for this patient and then one treatment will not work for another patient. I think it's just how your body reacts to it. And this for me is, it's already worked way better than the Hill Rom ever has. Just having this, even though I've only had it a day, just the ease of being able to do stuff. Like right now, there's like a mountain of dishes right over there that I have to do. <clears throat> and normally when I get to this point, I'm going to be juggling like, oh, it's treatment time to where, oh, I got to knock this out, then do, then I'm still going to have to do my vest. With this bad boy, you can do whatever you want. You can knock out treatments. You can work around the house. You can do laundry. You can go for a run. You can walk your dog. You can do whatever you want to do. <clears throat> uh, you can do it in the car, just wherever. And it's, like I said, it's so, it's so portable and lightweight. That's one of the greatest parts of it for me. You can do anything you want while you do the Aflo vest. You can add the Aflo vest into exercise and it's gonna make your exercise ten times more <clears throat> ten times more effective on your lungs than it would be before. And no I'm not a workout buff so if my push-ups were incorrect I do not really care. It is also airline approved which is a big plus for me because uh, I do, I travel around a lot <clears throat> and nothing's worse than trying to get the Hill Rom vest into an overhead compartment in an airplane. I don't know if you guys have ever done it, but the Hill Rom carrying case says that it fits in all overhead compartments. 
What it does not mention is that it fits in all overhead compartments as long as you can get a running start and physically spear the bag into the overhead compartment. Now, anytime I do fly, I always tell the person what my vest is, what the purpose is, and I would definitely take extra caution with this because if you're running through a security and you forget to tell them what you have and they see a vest go through the scanner with a bunch of wires hooked to it, you're probably going to raise some red flags and you'd, I, I wouldn't recommend that whatsoever. I know a lot of doctors do not want to prescribe these because <clears throat> of the trials and what the results have said, but I don't like I don't plan on using this even though that I do feel like it works better. I don't plan on completely ditching my Hillwom vest altogether. Uh, just like I have a Peri Trek S, which is a completely portable nebulizer system, I'm going to use this as kind of my travel option as well, or if I'm busy around the house. But I'm still going to use my Hillrom. And that is, if you're trying to get this vest from a doctor, I think that should be your biggest selling point and how to approach your care provider to try to get one of these. You know, that's what I told mine. I was like, you know, I'm not going to ditch my Hillrom, but I need something for travel and my doctor he knows I travel a lot he knows I'm very active so he had no problem signing off on this uh, insurance it did it took like a year and a half to get this so insurance it took forever so I wouldn't expect for you to you know have it in a flash but you know maybe you will it really just all depends on insurance uh, some is better than others so you know different strokes different folks different insurance stuff I don't know where I'm going with that. Another thing about the Aflo vest is it just turned off. Every eight minutes, the Aflo vest cuts itself off, and that's to uh, remind the patient, the wearer, to, to cough. As you know, if you're doing the Minnesota protocol, you always, or even the vest in general, some do it, some don't, but you're supposed to stop. You're supposed to take breaks and uh, intervals to really huff cough, really get those deep, you know, deep lung breaths. <coughs> Not like that deeper <clears throat> those really deep breaths and really just huff and push the stuff out from the bottom of your lungs and this thing this this is where like the selling point for me just because of how I can feel the vibration like going directly into the lower lobes where it feels like the Hillrom vest doesn't touch like the Hillrom vest definitely shakes things loose but for this I can feel exactly where is being targeted and what is being uh, shaken loose because of the different points and the different vibration uh, settings in the vest. So far, I'm absolutely stoked with it. I will keep you guys updated uh, and let you know how it goes with a uh, prolonged use uh, with travel, how it all goes, you know, make travel videos showing you guys what all you can really <clears throat> do with the Aflo and maybe it can help convince a couple doctors to write the script. So just to make a patient's life a little easier of not having to drag the hill rom everywhere you know if you're going to disney world for a week or you're going out of town sometimes it's just a pain to drag those things around and like this you have no co like no cords to worry about really like this all this stuff is everything that comes with the apple vest like this is this is the cords there's no giant machine to worry about <clears throat> it's all built into this bad boy like i said for the battery <clears throat> uh, when it needs to be charged pop it off <clears throat> plug it into the wall and then you're good to go <clears throat> are trying to get your doctor to get you one of these that is the selling point I would use to, or how to pitch it to them to be like you know I'm not going to change this out change my hill rom out completely for this vest but you know it's just a good travel option and I don't see why a clinic wouldn't prescribe this and <clears throat> a lot of insurances are covering it so I don't, I don't see why they wouldn't give this just to make life a little easier. And I mean, it gives you, this could give a patient motivation to get active because you're not stuck in one spot doing treatments. Because I mean, <clears throat> like with this on, if I pair it with my Peri Trek S, I'm completely mobile. There is no sitting around. The Peri Trek S has a removable battery that I can just pop on it and then boom. Nebulizers are portable. Vest is portable. Therapy is completely on the go. Yeah, I hope this answered uh, any questions you may have about it. If you have any more questions, you can comment below or you can just send me a direct message on Facebook or on here. 
Sometimes I'm a little slow with commenting back if you comment on the YouTube videos. I'm really sorry about that. <clears throat> but yeah, so far with the Aflo vest, I am totally stoked on it. Totally happy with it. I uh, can't wait to travel around with it and really get some use out of this bad boy. Uh, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, shoot them to me whenever you feel like it. And uh, see you guys later. Take care.